Okay, welcome to the next part of the tutorial, the tagging process. We'll start by clicking on the tag button that it will take us to the workplace. Now, when we first enter the workplace, it will ask us if we want the help of the Markalix assistant. We need to read all the instructions that we need to follow if we want the help of the assistant. If we accept its help, it will take us to a different window and if we cancel the help, we will need to tag every part of our article. Now, we'll accept the help of the assistant and we'll start by marking the sections. The section, uh, it takes us to the HTML file and we have to click and drag on each and every name of the section. We don't need to copy and paste it. The Marklick system already infers that this is the the name of the section so we'll just click and drag and let go of the click we'll click on every section and as we can see on section number three it has two subsections where we can add by clicking on the button add subsection we'll add subsection 3.1 we'll add another subsection that is 3.2 and we'll add the no, a new section which is number 4 all of this is so the the, the Markalik system infer where are the paragraphs of our article now we are approaching the end of this article which it's section number 5 and to tell the Markalik system that we have done that we are done with the tagging of our sections we'll have to select the last at least the last five words of the article now that we have done it we'll put infer and it will help us to grab all the text that comprises our article we need to be careful that if our article has tables figures uh, graphics or equations it will put them as paragraphs so we'll have to correct this but it helps us with the tagging of the text the general text of our article now we'll start with the articles data this is we have three tabs in the upper left corner that are articles data references and appendixes and full text this is the order of the process that we need to follow so we can have a successful tagging process we'll start by selecting the title box which is the main box of this part of this attribute and we have its daughter box that it's the original title we can select and add as many titles as our article has and we can add it in another languages or we can have the letterhead so we'll click on the title in another language and as you can see it's it tells us to select the language that our next title has in this case it's English so we'll select it click and drag all the way through all the text let go of the click and it will take it to the work space now that we have done it we'll proceed with the authors data now for that we need to select the type of author and if it's an author a compiler or, or the other options that the system presents us we also can change the name format and if this is the author that can receive correspondence so in this case we have one and it will add another box in the author uh, main box so we can add all the details that we need now we'll select the name in this case which is Francesc M and the last names when we uh, make a mistake in the tagging process we can again select the text and it will uh, overwrite, overwrite all our uh, mistake so in email we'll select only the uh, email address and now we have to put to put the main affiliation of our author in this case he comes from the Universitat Rovira i Virgili from Spain 
so we'll select all the information in the full reference or the full uh, affiliation and now we'll put only the institution from where he works in this case the Universitat Rovira i Virgili and that's it now we'll select the country and as you can see in the upper left corner we have the toolbar where, where you can select yeah, uh, by scrolling or by typing the main country of our author which is Spain in this case now that we have added it we can put all the information about our correspondence we'll select from the title to the email address and that's how we tag our author now we have another author so we'll select the main box which is authors and add another one in the toolbox on the upper left corner we'll do the same with this next author we'll copy the name and last name also the email address if it has one or if it doesn't we only need to select the affiliation the full affiliation and the institution and country from where this author proceeds if we don't find the country we are looking for we can always type the country so we can get to it faster now we'll get to the dates now the Markalik system only needs us to put the received and accepted dates of the article but if our article has more than these two dates we can always select it in the dates box here we can select another type of date and we can select which one it is uh, we can put the date and the type of date which is reception approved and all the other options that are presented here now we don't need one because this article only has these two options so we'll continue with the received date to do so we'll click on this date in particular and choose the date we have to choose this in the following order we'll select the year and the month of set date and lastly we'll put the number of the day well when we do it the window automatically closes and we can change also the date format that it has day month or year uh, separate by dashes or by it is commas or we can change also the order month day and year now we'll put the accepted date and click on the year month and number of the day which in this case it's 28 now that we have this the Markalik system automatically recognizes the abstracts of our article so in the different uh, languages that it, it comes so in this case we need only to verify that it has copied fully and in the given language that we have in this case it has English and Spanish it also recognizes the bank of keywords that we need so we only need to check if this one has inferred correct, correctly the the keywords and separated it accordingly we can also add a DOI or a digital identifiers that our article has in this case it has a DOI so we'll only need to select where we the part of the, the numbered part of our URL because it already gives us the beginning of the URL we'll select it and select only the number part The Markalik system also detects automatically if our article has a, a digital identifier. In this, this case, this one has a DOI identifier, so it fills out automatically the form. Now we'll continue, and we'll, when we select on the Articles Data tab, we can also add related articles, other links, fundings, and additional information that we may or may not have in this case. In this case, this article has a funding acknowledgement, 
So we can click on the funding button and it will give us all the details that we need to fill in like the funding source in this case it can be the the company or the institution that gives us the money or the funding in this case the contract number if our funding has a contract number and the beneficiary in this case it can be the authors or the investigation in this case it's the investigation so we'll need only to select the title of the article and we can be done with that part when putting the funding we can select the type of funding which is a contract donation or a grant In this case it has a grant and we can also add the beneficiary or more beneficiaries the attribution and the contact number we can also add or we need to save constantly our progress while tagging this articles so we don't have any problems with it Markalik does not make a continuous saving of our progress so we need to do it manually 